Anna aka Makeup by Emery. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I love this video. I'm really excited uh, for you guys to see it because I've been dying to do a look like this. I'm going to call it kind of like a sunset -y, uh look. I don't know. It's just really beautiful but I did not create it. I actually got an inspiration from somebody off of Instagram and I'm actually going to find it for you right now. So I was inspired by this video right here and the makeup artist is I think Stacy Marie MUA. I'm not sure but I'll put it in the description box below. But that was the look that I was kind of going for. It was just a beautiful kind of sunset look with a blue on the lower lash line and a nudie brownish lip. So I was just super inspired by this. So I was just really inspired by it. Um, she does so many amazing looks. Um, I recommend you follow her. Um, you know, she has a pretty big base already, but she just has so much creativity. She creates so many amazing looks that I always want to recreate them. Um, and I saw this one this morning, and I knew I wanted to record a tutorial today. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to redo it. So if you like what you see, please continue watching. Uh, make sure you support me. Give me a like, a comment, subscribe, a thumbs up. Um, I'd appreciate that. And I hope you guys all enjoy the video. I'm going to start by filling in the brows like I always do. So I'm going to put them on, and I'll be right back. I like to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm going to go ahead. It comes with a cool little brush. And you can just wipe that on your eyes. Like that. I kind of just put it really carelessly all over my eye. And then I blend it around with a brush. The old brush will do. Something fluffy and small. And I'm going to just blend it around. I'm going to wipe this brush off on my hand or my leg or a bouncy, whatever is closest to me. And then I'm going to set that primer with some translucent loose powder. So that way it's easier to blend our eyeshadow on top of it. Because um, if not, it kind of just drags because you're trying to blend a powder on top of a cream. So I just like to set it to help myself out. You know, I haven't been showing any love to my Soft and Gentle by MAC, so I'm actually going to use that to highlight my brow bone. So just put some on there using a small brush. I'm just using a pencil brush like I always do. I love Soft and Gentle. This is my first highlight ever. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette because it has the color I need. Um, I'm actually going to be using like three different palettes. Um, not saying that you need them. It just happens that all of the colors I need are dispersed within three palettes that I have. Um, so we're going to make it work. Um, I'm going to be using this shade right here. So to apply that, I'm just using a fluffy dome brush. Same one I always use. Um, I'm using something like fluffy, not too, too dense. Because this is going to be my transition shade. Cool. I'm going to focus on that outer. So I'm actually going to be mixing two colors to create the color that I want on my lid. So the first color I'm going to be using is a Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette. And then I'm going to mix Love Letter with the Hot Pink from the Electric palette. That one right there. Um, so I'm going to mix them together in hopes of getting a pretty fuchsia color should work out. So what I'm going to actually do is I am going to put Love Letter all over my eyelid and then on top of that I'm going to layer on that hot pink from the Electric palette. a smaller crease brush and I'm going to do the same two colors and I'm going to blend them in between the transition shade and the crease but not going as high up. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that shade right there just to kind of help blend that transition slightly. I'm just loving this color combination. Oh, I fell on the damn floor. It's just so annoying. I'm honestly so lazy that instead of getting the other earring, I'm just going to take the other earring out. 
Hey you guys, so as I talked about in my gunmetal smoky eye video, um, I'm going to be using the same brand for glitter. It's Glitter Injections, which I found on Instagram, and I like it just because it's convenient and it's pressed glitters that come in a little pan, and I'm not touching it to show you guys because I don't want to contaminate everything and get glitter on my fingers. It's just the worst thing in the world. So now you guys might laugh because this might be kind of ghetto of me, but um, I didn't buy a palette for it, so I, I put them in this Glade thing right here. Let's open that up. Cool. You see them right here? So it was just so convenient. Like I was packing them up because I was moving from New York to Cali. And I'm like, damn, I don't have anywhere to put my glitters. But I found these in my room and I was like, you know what? The glitters can fit in here. So anyway, I'm going to be using that pink right there. And I'm going to layer that on top of my lid. I'm just going to use a small eyeshadow brush or, you know, whatever. You can use your finger. It's so important when you're adding this glitter on to kind of just tap everywhere and not drag because it's so crumbly, which sucks. It's the only downfall to this brand, but it's still, in my eyes, it still outweighs everything because it's just super convenient that it's in a pressed pan. Instead of having to actually take out glitter glue and pour out glitter, it's just so annoying. So it's super convenient, and that's why I still use it. If they can enhance it, so that it's not crumbly somehow, that would be amazing. You know what? Is it ghetto or is it resourceful? That's what you need to tell me. Because I'm going with resourceful. In the look, there was a, a nice highlight in the tear duct. And to do that, I'm going to be using um, Soft and Gentle again. And the same pencil brush that I used to highlight my brow. And I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus so that it's extra pigmented. As usual just take a makeup wipe and clean up the edges also make sure that you clean up this right here so you can wipe off any extra glitter usually I need to do my eyeliner with Inglot gel liner and a brush but because I have glitter on my eyes it'll be kind of hard it would be kind of hard to use trooper by Kat Von D because it'll get all crumbly with the glitter so I'm gonna go with NYX's liquid liner which is kind of my favorite eyeliner right now and I have reasons. It's just so bomb because you know when you wear eyeliner and then at the end of the day your eye kind of just looks like a big mess like you have like an eye bigger that's black or it's like running everywhere or just something like this doesn't do that. When I put Inglot on top of my eye at the end of the day I always get a mess right here a big black mess and I hate that. This one doesn't do that for me it's perfect and I feel like it's easier to come off too it's less of a mess. be right back I have to throw on some eyelashes then we're gonna talk about face makeup and then we're gonna do the finishing touches with the shadow on the bottom I love this song Lately, I've been using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. It's like eight or nine bucks at your pharmacy or drugstore, um, and it's bomb. Uh, it makes me feel the same way I feel about my Studio Fix Fluid, only it's way less money. to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige as I always do. And just make sure you hug up right underneath that wing. Um, I can't decide if I want a cream contour today or not, but I'm extra, so I think I'm gonna. Okay, and if you're curious, this is LA Girl and this is the shade A Beautiful Bronze. Ooh, I put a little mucho. Just gonna wipe that off.
I'm just gonna bake with my Laura Mercier translucent powder as per usual. I like definitely put like way too much powder on but like it was just too little too late um, to take it off but I'm trying something new today and I kind of put it up because I just see that in all of the oh my eyes watering because I want to see if that's gonna help with the nose contour and I also have a really greasy nose so maybe that will help and I just see it in all the videos okay you guys so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and wipe uh, the powder off and then I'm going to disperse it throughout the rest of my face but I'm going to let the nose contour sit as I usually do so I'm going to use my Anastasia contour kit like I always do to powder contour I'm using a fluffy brush today I kind of just switch it up some days I use slightly skinnier ones some days I use this fluffy one this one is a Sigma F20 a luxe crease brush by real techniques and I'm going to use that to contour my nose so what I'm going to do now for the blue underneath the eye I'm just going to kind of um, wipe off my pencil brush that I used to highlight my eyebrow bone I'm going to wipe that off on my hand <laughs> which is like totally not okay I guess but or a bouncy whatever I don't really care I'm going to use this one right here. I'm actually going to touch up the soft and gentle because I kind of messed it up. Okay, before we get started on the lip, I'm going to spray myself with MAC Mineralized Charge Water. While my face is still damp with that, I'm going to highlight. Do tip in the nose. I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose. I kind of want to brighten myself back up by putting a white eyeliner in my waterline. Which is pretty cool because I'm actually going to give you guys a quick review. Um, I tried these new liners by NYX. They are Extreme Shine Eyeliner. Stay on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on. That's long. Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. Oh wow, that's a really long name. But it's just really clear. Ugh. It's just really creamy. They glide on and they really last long. Um, so I highly recommend them and they're very inexpensive. I think they're like $8, but, um, you know, in comparison to other brands, that's pretty inexpensive. So I'm just going to pop this into my waterline. So for the lip, I think I'm going to use the Anastasia lip palette. Um, I'm going to be using this shade right here. I'm going to put that all over my lips with a lip brush. That is such a pretty color. I'm surprised I didn't try it sooner. It looks way darker in the tin than it does in person, like on. Alright, that's the lip. I really love it. That is the shade 11 from the Anastasia lip palette, which I love. So I am going to uh, do my hair and come back. <laughs> 